Welcome back to Championship Court as we get set for the women's doubles gold medal match. This is how we got here, taking a look at the semifinals, moving into the finals. Braverman and Johnson took down the top seed, Susanna Barr and Megan Fudge, 11-6, 11-4. In the bottom half of the bracket, Yana Newell and Millie Rain, they dispatched the two seed in the quarterfinal, taking on the three seed, Mari Humberg, Alex Strong. That game two was really back and forth there late, but Newell and Rain prevailed 12 to 10 in game number two to move into this women's doubles gold medal match. As we take a look at Jill Braverman, Getting the water in, she looks ready to go. The 34-year-old out of Newport Beach, California, a fiery one. We have seen a lot of action from her on the court alongside her partner, Georgia Johnson. Yeah, they're playing really well together. Um, I talked with Jill Braverman yesterday and today. She typically plays the left side, but she played the right side yesterday in mixed doubles. And again, she played today with Georgia Johnson. It's great to see her kind of expanding her game, and she's been solid on that right side. Solid on the left side in that semifinal. Yana Newell, so many good plays. Millie Rain so often, she's the X factor. What could these two throw at Braverman and Johnson to throw them off their game? Well, in the semifinals, Yana Newell made really great choices as far as the ball she chose to speed up. And when she did attack, she stayed in that and really put the pressure on. But it was Rain that was setting it up most of the time in that cross-court dink, pulling out wide, creating the opportunities for Newell. We are underway here in this women's doubles gold medal match. Braverman and Johnson at the bottom of the screen in black. Newell and Rain in the white tops on the top of the screen. I think that ball was <laughs> yeah. just out. Georgia Johnson Side played out. it anyway. Side out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep. Yeah, I saw it in. Do you want to count? No, this one. That one. <laughs> so a little, little confusion right. yep. there from, from our head referee, no. Diane that Anderson, as, as far as which ball Millie Rain is questioning right now. So now that we have that underway, because... Zero 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 one. zero zero one. So, nice roll there from Newell. As we had in the uh, men's match, this match, Jade or Georgia Johnson and Millie zero, Rain zero, very two. familiar with each other, just like Tardio and J.W. Johnson were as they all practice together. Oh, athletic overhead from Johnson, but just missed it. Yeah, that ball just floated up. Zero, zero, one. A little too high there for Johnson. Second so serve. that is not the spot on Jill Braverman. If you're going to speed up a ball on Braverman, it has to be zero, left zero, armpit two. to left hip. She's really good at that scorpion, that half Fire. overhead on the counter. Couple of service games, zero, no zero, score one. yet here in this women's doubles gold medal match. We missed it wide. Point. Just like that though, the speed yeah. up went right at her left shoulder. She pops it up. Yana Newell tries to one, put an zero, exclamation one. point on it, but goes wide. Second serve. Can't make the return. Second serve. One zero two. Point. Rain stepping in. It's unlike her to miss that shot. Well, she stepped over the cover, which was perfect, but then she tried to move Two, back two. into position as Newell came back into the court before she'd made contact. Side out. That's good ball movement right there from Newell and Rain, moving that ball sideline to the middle. Not going to the same spot more than once right there. Also playing the fact that the sun has gone down. It's gotten Zero, a little two, cooler. Means the ball's going to be a little harder. Travel a little faster, too. 
Which team does that favor? I think it's going to favor Jill Braverman and Georgia Johnson because of the strength of both of them. On elevated balls, they are going to be able to really use that leverage, put that ball away. Wind has started to pick up a little bit here on championship court as well. Yeah, Just inside the line. Takes that cross body. Braverman sitting just a little heavy on the backhand side there because of the previous attack One, on two, that two. left hip. Just long side out. Both, yeah. both Georgia Johnson and Jill Braverman looking at each other right there, and they say good Two eye, but it was a yours. <laughs> Breathe a sigh of relief that it went out. It was a I'm I'm beat. I hope it goes out. top of the net to slow it down and dots the opposite sideline right here. As soon as she oh, hit it, she's like, I'm sorry, but it was Don't perfect. Apologize. We saw it from Eric Lang in the men's doubles today with a couple of ATP defenses going back cross court. Rain, same thing, just creates the angle. And then goes Side right out. at the left hip of Braverman. And she says, forget the net, I'm going <laughs> right at you. And again, it's that left hip of Jill Braverman. One, two, one. One, two, one. It was hesitation. Oh. It was an excellent drive from Yule to set up that pop-up. Rain serve. let that ball drop One, a two, little two. too much, which meant that now she was hitting up on it, gets it elevated, misses it deep. Yeah. Noel tried Side to out. speed it up a little bit too low below the net. Well, it was almost being baited by Braverman as she's going for the fake Ernie right there as Newell wanted to light her up as she went to the sideline. That's the high part of the net. Tough to do that. Yeah. Oh, now Braverman getting a little love from the net cord. Not the spot on Braverman. She sits forehand so well yep. right there. A lot of times you talk about if you're a right-hander going to the right hip, right shoulder. With her, Jill Braverman, it's point. opposite. You want to go left hip, left shoulder with her because she sets forehand so heavy. Point. Great hands from Georgia Johnson. Another point for her and Braverman. 4-1. Four, 4-1-1. One. Four, one, one. For the four seeds over the seven seed. Now Georgia Johnson all over Time that kitchen line. Five, one, one. one minute. So I'm out on the court. Now it's time for a message from our proud partners. Sketchers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility.
Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. So coming in the summer of 2024, we have the APP UTR Sports Pickleball Leagues. They're recreational pickleball leagues across the U.S. As I said, league play begins summer at 2024, and then it's going to culminate in the national championships from December 7th to the 20th, uh, 7th to the 10th in Fort Lauderdale. The Fort joining us in the booth is APP founder Ken Herman. Ken, thanks for being here. Chad and Dom, here we are under the lights in Sacramento. How awesome is this? So we're talking about the new APP UTS Sports Pickleball Leagues. What was the vision behind that and where are you looking to take that? Sure, that's a great question. You know, back in the summertime, I visited with our team on how I hear from so many players, they just don't have the time to travel to go away to a tournament, but they still want to be competitive. So we talked internally about what we could do to offer great play that people can play either at their park districts or their local clubs or their country clubs, but still be a part of a team Second event. Serve. In doing so, they can start off at their grassroots at their own club and Five then end up two. challenging either to the regional or state championships, making it all the way to our national championships at our new headquarters at the Fort, Fort Lauderdale. So back here, game two of our Point. women's doubles final. Newell and Rain, oh, sorry, game one. Yeah. Newell and Rain down 6-1. Six, six, Wow, just missing the sideline right there is Georgia Johnson. But, Ken, we got lots going on in Miami. We got the Miami Open, our count. first major of the year, the Atlantic Cup, the first international team composition. How do we keep it all together there doing everything <laughs> like that in Miami? Well, yeah. Coach Chad will be there coaching the American team, trying to do his best with all that. But this is very exciting for us heading to Miami, the first big pro event for pickleball down in Miami. One. And we're real excited to be working with USA Pickleball again as another golden ticket as a pathway to nationals for them in November at the national championships in Mesa. Oh, good counter there from Jill Braveman. This time sliding to the right with the backhand. She had been eaten up on that left hip a couple times, and now she slides to clear that two-handed backhand. Great adjustment in-game from Braverman. Braverman's feeling it right now. But Ken, you know, we're playing at the Miami Convention Center for that major. What, what are we looking at as far as courts, people, competitors? Well, we've got a jam-packed field. Not only do we have a an unbelievable pro field coming again, some of the best amateurs are vying for that golden ticket. This will be the Six, only one, golden two. ticket for this spring that we're going to be offering with USA Pickleball on the pathway for nationals. Our top champions and master pros will be competing as well. And then this whole international event, the Atlantic Cup, Team USA versus the best from Team Europe. We've got the endorsement of both USA Pickleball and the European Pickleball Federation. They're saying over our best players for a, a Ryder Cup type competition and we'll see who takes the title this year. Second serve. Well, Ken, thank you so much for joining us, giving us all that information. We don't want to keep what you too much two? in here. We know you wear many hats around the APP, and with everything going on, we appreciate you just dropping in and giving us a little bit of your time. Great to be here. Nice job right there of defense played from Rain and Six, one, one. Newell, but back on serve is Braverman and Johnson. Oh. 
Ooh, able to get on top of that and drive it down towards Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Johnson started that, I don't think, for any apparent reason right there, other than they got a 6-1 lead and let's try and do something here. Six, but one, Rain two. and Newell all over that. A little late on that backhand there. For Millie Rain, misses that one wide, Seven, uncharacteristic one, miss on the return. into the shoulder. Nothing. Man down, nothing, women down. Nothing Braverman could do right there. That is right at the shoulder. And Chad, we talk about being center mass. So you go right at the hardest thing to get out of the way is your core right there. And Braverman just twists right into it. Again, but Braverman made the adjustment. Braverman has now made the adjustment where Newell was going to the forehand a little bit. Now she's like, you know what? I know she's going to go to that left hip. I One, saw her seven, doing two. it before. Now I'm going to slide and I'm just going to tee off on that two hand backhand. by both Braverman <laughs> and Johnson right there. As Johnson pulled that dink really wide, Seven, she slid one, to one. the middle and it allowed Braverman to slide to her two-handed backhand. like Dom sometimes especially in the women's game we talk so much about how good the hands are that the footwork gets overlooked at times when it's just as important well oh, 100 percent and again you're seeing it right here from Johnson and Braverman they're moving the ball really well and they're really dinking aggressively Rain and Newell making the switch there just to get a, a different look. And we heard Braverman apologizing Eight, one, two. to Georgia Johnson. She stepped on a foot as she was coming over, but that was because she slid to the left this time to clear that forehand. When you point. see the adjustment trying to be made from Newell and Rain as they are switching sides right now, they put Rain cross court yes. now from. Nine. Georgia Johnson, I didn't mind Newell going cross court with her. She was Nine dinking one, well with her. Just couldn't find a hole. Point. Still nowhere for Rain and Newell to work, and now they are facing a game point with Braverman and Johnson up 10-1. 10-1-2. Johnson side comes out. up a little short side out. Well, Newell and Rain need to find a little momentum here. One, Not, ten, one. Even even if they can't close this one, which is which is a, a tough task. It's it's to find that momentum and Second find that serve. rhythm going into game two. Unfortunately, missing it that wide down the line isn't finding that rhythm. One ten two. One ten two. Rain stepping in, puts it right into the middle of the net, and now game point number two. It wasn't that it was a bad speed up. She was off balance. Ten, one, one. So she was leaning one foot in front of the other instead of being square. Under, 
Braverman closes the door on a forehand winner through the middle of the court. She and Georgia Johnson take game number one, 11 to one over Yana Newell and Millie Rain. They are one game away from taking home the women's doubles gold medal here on championship court. Don't go anywhere. We have game two ahead here at the 2024 APP Sacramento Open. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body, and it's NSAID-free. Cool the pain so I can get back on the court. Nothing brings us together like Eggland's best eggs. We love the taste, always so fresh and delicious, plus superior nutrition. For us, it's eggs any style, as long as they're the best. Eggland's best. from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped. Suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. The next event on the APP Tour is the first major of the 2024 season. Join us in Miami for the Chase APP Miami Pickleball Open, March 19th to 24th. Check out the app.global for more information. We are back to action here on Championship Court. Jill Braverman two, and Georgia Johnson eight. running through zero, game zero, one, 11-1 over Yana Newell and Millie Rain. They are first to serve here in game number two. It's the right move from Braverman. She slides to the backhand, very similar to what Will Howells was doing with J.W. Johnson. Jill one, Braverman zero, slides to the backhand, knowing Georgia Johnson has the middle covered. That finger wave was reminiscent of Dikembe Mutombo. <laughs> Not there. in my house. Ooh, Ooh watch your knees and your face. But there it was right there, Braverman slid. It was out of her reach, but who was there covering? Georgia Johnson in the middle. One, one, one. Zero, one, one. And another <laughs> one. Couple of friendly net rolls there. But Don, we talked about the movement of Georgia Johnson in game one. You know, what it's, it's almost uh, reminiscent to mixed doubles one. right now where Georgia's able to move and really control the point. Braverman can sit in that corner a little bit more and Second slide seven. left or right and clear the backhand or the forehand. One, one, two. One, one, two. Yeah, 
back in. Too it's, good. It's Braverman yeah. just sitting, two-handed backhand right there, reading the speed up, knowing that if she can reach it, she can get it. She's going to put one. that down. Well, if you look at the number of steps that Rain and Yule are taking compared to Bra Braverman and and Johnson, it's just they're, Braverman and Johnson aren't pressured right now. Second serve. No, Johnson no. went to speed it up. Yeah, no, not at all, Chad. You're exactly right. They're not moving much. They're one, putting one, the two. pressure on. They're making Rain and Newell move all over the court. That oh. was a carry. What? It, it, all right. There's a carry on the court. Let's take a look at this one. It, saying it was a carry. Uh, correction, replay. They're going to replay it. Georgia going in one motion. I think what they thought the second because, second hit was was the was. ball that she hit the net. Hit. Okay. Didn't look like a double contact, even though huh? it is no. legal. No challenge. No, no, she didn't. It's a replay. replay. So we're going to replay the point. Replay. Oh, oh, Jill. Sorry. One, one, two. Such good hands from Braverman. Yeah, beautiful spots. I like where she's dinking okay. too. She's dinking to the middle Referee and she's pushing out. Rain Point. and Newell back. I like that spot. Two, one, two. Officials timeout on the court. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with the conclusion of the women's doubles gold medal match here on championship court at the APP Sacramento Open. Unless it's less beer. Cut tire. The ProXR Pickleball Paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. ProXR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game. Because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. I'm Vivian Chan here with Plastic Pickles, and we're putting the pickle into pickleball. In pickleball, a slice is a chop shot used to create backspin on the ball. I'm going to show you how to make a fried chicken sandwich topped with plastic sandwich dill pickle chips that will put your taste buds into a spin. Now this is a really big dill.
18 years from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped. Suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. It's hard to find supplements that work. No, thank you. You need supplements that are backed by science with natural and plant-based ingredients and that are third-party tested. Because cleaner is better. Like Aura Organic. Plant-based supplements made from the Earth's most powerful plants for your immune health, gut health, workouts, and more. Find out more at AuraOrganic.com. from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped. Suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. I'm Chef Chad Rosenthal, and I'm here today with Elastic Pickles to put the pickle in pickleball. In pickleball, a dill ball is a shot that is inbounds and is bounced only once. It's a live ball. This Vlasic pickle dip is a live ball of pickle flavor. Crunchy pickle perfection. The ProXR Pickleball Paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. ProXR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. ProXR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I'm finally feeling control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to health care. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. 
They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. No, since I've been using uh, Leo Rubber, I, I've had way less problem on my AT band and hips. It has been really a game changer for me, so I highly recommend it to everyone. That's what makes it so different. The whole idea about balanced compression, it improves your blood flow, reduces your fatigue. At the end of the day, you feel so much better. I feel comfortable, I feel supported. I feel that I can train harder, train longer, recover faster, and feel supported while I'm playing. And that's so crucial for me, especially in singles when I'm trying to play against the youngest. I'm not the youngest out there, but I try and play against the youngest. 18 years from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped, suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body, and it's NSAID-free. Cool the pain so I can get back on the court. The ProXR Pickleball Paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. ProXR gives you more spin, greater control and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. Need to sell tickets for an event? From Sports Illustrated's official ticketing platform, introducing Box Office. Manage ticketing for sports, festivals, fundraisers, and more, paid or free. And we go beyond the barcode. Introducing Super Ticket. Super Tickets are secured by blockchain technology and transform into exclusive digital content, promotions, and rewards between the event and guests. Cheaper, better, simpler, more secure. Sports Illustrated Tickets. Partner with us for your next event. Everyone knows standing still doesn't get you where you want to go. It's all about movement and progression. Power, strength, innovation, expertise. On the court, off the court, and on the way to the court, you have to expect more out of yourself. And you should expect more of the company who makes your tires. Getting you more miles, traction, and safety is why we get up in the morning. Let's drive forward. Expect more. Fortune Tires. Welcome back to Championship Court in our Women's Devils Gold Medal Match. Jill Braverman and Georgia Johnson took Game 1 11-1 over Yana Newell and Millie Rain. They are currently up 2-1 in Game Number 2. Those elevated balls, Johnson's been over them 
all afternoon. So it's Georgia Johnson pinning Newell in a corner. If Braverman can step in and take that ball, then she punches it middle, and she's dinking to the middle, and it's causing pop-ups right now. They're picking on Yana Newell right now. Same pattern again. Yeah. And it's so tough to speed up from that height. You know, Newell's fully extended, the ball's low, difficult to roll. 4-1-2. And now Rain and Newell switch sides. Try and get Newell out of that pattern. See if they go back to it. And gets Newell and Rain back on serve, trailing 1-4-1. One, one. Oh. Defense. Defense right there from Newell and Rain. However, I do think that Johnson hit an out ball in the middle of that point. Great job by Braverman getting up to that ball and then just kind of patty caking that back up and over the net and then getting back and getting set. And she pushed Newell to her backhand again, got right back into the pattern. Nice step across from Newell and a big forehand winner. Big indeed. Gets extended on that one, gets on top. No missing the middle hit. Couple miss of hit. miss hits. She <laughs> framed that so bad, it was good. The miss hit, that ball ended up tailing away from Newell. Couldn't catch up to it. English off at Johnson's paddle, put it out of the reach of Newell. It's a side out. I mean, right now, Johnson and Braverman aren't even having to be the aggressors or speed anything up. They're just looking at countering Newell and Rain. They're trying to do a little bit too much. They're trying to create the opportunity off of bad speed up balls. Better decision there from Rain. Yeah, I mean, it, it, would, it wasn't as hard of a speed up, but it was also out of the air, took away timing, went cross body on Johnson. Ooh, that's tough right there, but I don't mind the speed up right there from Newell because its opportunity was there for it. She was in a good position. Point. All over the kitchen line are Braverman and Johnson, and it's earned them a four-point advantage here in game number two. Georgia Johnson's footwork so good. That comes off for Johnson. Becomes part of the court once it's back there. But how hard did Rain and Newell have to work on that point? Oh, I mean, that's the longest point of the match by far right there. What you thought was they have three. a little kick of the hat <laughs> back there for Georgia Johnson. Talking about the point, footwork. Point was done a couple of times. 
And not only are Johnson and Braverman countering very well, they're defending very well. See, Braverman's turning around with it back to the court, watching Johnson hit the ball. That's the situation where, yeah, okay, Bra Johnson's going back to get that one. Braverman needs to slide back into position. Drill. Yeah. Second Green serve. can't make the pickup. So it doesn't even matter who's on what side right now. They're just picking on spots. So it doesn't matter that now Millie Three Rain is on two. the left. They're still going to go sideline to that middle. Rain finds some space what? with the backhand. Yeah, I like to step up and attack right there. It's a ball out of the air that she can get on top of. Gets that down. Four, seven, two. A nice three-shot combo right there. Woo! Dots the T on the back line. Nice little run here for Newell and Rain back within two. Five seven two. Five seven two. And just outside Side the out. line. Gives the serve back over to Braverman and Johnson. Seven five one. Just long. They called that out. Second serve. <laughs> <laughs> Referee doesn't have Seven to pay two. attention to that <laughs> ball, but the question was asked. Yeah. Point. Way, to, way to turn that around by Georgia Johnson. She ripped. That and, overhead. And that's what I was going to say. Eight, five, two. The, the change and the adjustment. We used to try to reset those overheads. Now we're attacking the overhead because what's going to happen on the overhead, Side they're out. pushed back away from the kitchen on the overhead, and they've got a bit of swing. When we attack that overhead, five, we're more eight, likely five. to catch our opponents off balance. Braverman gets too big. Johnson did all the hard work from her knees. But that's the second time that Johnson has slipped on the courts. One uh, was in the semifinals where she was coming Not forward Keanu, to grab that ball. This time, trying to come back after that overhead. Six, eight, one. Second wow, serve. great dig there from Yana Newell. As Johnson tries to body her up right there, she resets that back in. 6 8 two. What a good job getting that ball down at Rain's feet. Just off the edge guard to get back on serve. But it was like a 60% speed up right there. Instead of really hitting that, Braverman hits it about 60%, and it causes Rain to be just a little bit out and in timing. front of it. Throw, throws the timing Eight, off. Six, it's all about the spot and the pace. Just Point. out. Rain trying to use that offensive lob again. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> the IQ shot. on Georgia Johnson right there. She pulled Rain wide. Rain's off balance. She pops that ball back up. But Rain is leaning back towards the middle. She goes back outside him. Brings up championship point. Just outside the line. Braverman tried to sell it. <laughs> She's the only one in the building that said yes. <laughs> Ten, the six, loudest two. one in the building for sure. Championship point number two. Oh, that's... Braverman and that. Johnson six. are the queens of the court. They take the women's doubles gold medal here in Sacramento. Yeah, that's a tough way to end it right there for Rain. And Newell, just a casual reach-in flick, pushing that ball deep. And that was epitome of Jill Braverman. Worked their way through transition right there to end it. Beautifully done by Braverman and Johnson. We'll hear from Jill Braverman and Georgia Johnson when we return here at the Women's Devils Gold Medal Match at the APP Sacramento Open. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body, and it's NSAID-free. Cool the pain so I can get back on the court. Everyone knows standing still doesn't get you where you want to go. It's all about movement and progression, power, strength, innovation, expertise. On the court, off the court, and on the way to the court, you have to expect more out of yourself. And you should expect more of the company who makes your tires. Getting you more miles, traction, and safety is why we get up in the morning. Let's drive forward. Expect more. Fortune Tires. The APP is sponsored by Fulfill. We swear it's a protein bar. Good idea. Primes metabolism, balances blood sugar. And USA Pickleball official sanctioning body of the APP Tour. Jill Braverman and Georgia Johnson are your gold medalists here at the APP Sacramento Open, Chad. They played really clean, did everything they needed to do to come out on top. Yeah, Braverman talked about how typically she's a left side player, but here she's playing right. And she's comfortable allowing Johnson to really control the point. She just has to sit there and look for that counter. All right. Third member of our party, Dorian Kraft, is courtside with Jill Braverman and Georgia Johnson. I am here with our women's doubles gold medal winners. Everyone give it up one more time for Jill Braverman and Georgia Johnson. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Georgia, I'm going to start with you. Early on in that second game, it really looked like you and Jill were picking your spots on that left side. What did you all see that you were able to exploit? Um, we just were trying to stay in the dink. They have really good hands and, and really poppy paddles. And so we were just trying to, you know, uh, dink with them and, and stay consistent. And Jill, Georgia, her movement is so good. It allows her to really control the points. How does her movement free you up and allow you to go for those big winners? Oh, man, I think she was more the big winners than I was. Um, but no, Georgia's a great mover. And I felt like we actually move really well together, which was super fun. And she makes it so easy. 
Well, you both are big winners. Give it up one more time for our women's doubles gold medalist, Jill Braverman and Georgia Johnson. Braverman and Johnson coming out on top here in Sacramento. Chad, again, played so good, so well. Congratulations to them. Yeah, definitely put on somewhat of a clinic as far as how it how it is to control the point, move the ball around, put pressure on, and not have the speed balls up, but just look for the counter. Yeah, congratulations, Jill Braverman and Georgia Johnson, your women's pro doubles gold medalists. Take a quick break. Be back here in Sacramento.